Hey, hello again and welcome to another 5-Minute Fly the Wing in-flight maneuver video. Now, I've posted videos and written numerous articles about crosswind landings, and most pilots have a lot of experience landing in no-wind conditions. But if you're landing, there's a strong wind, but it's coming directly down the runway, what do you do? While it's not a crosswind, there are a couple of points I want to share about that particular scenario. First, if you're flying a normal traffic pattern, you're going to have a very quick downwind leak. The headwind over the runway is going to be a tailwind on downwind and will substantially increase your ground speed. You'll need to make power reductions much sooner even as you fly your normal indicated airspeeds. Now, in this video, I'm making a long 15 miles straight in approach to a 10,000 foot runway, so my procedures are a bit different. I'm comparing my GPS ground speed to my true airspeed along the way to better gauge the wind I'm dealing with. If there's a gust, I'll add half the gust factor to my indicated approach airspeed. Now, with any appreciable headwind, you'll probably need to keep power in just to get to the runway. If you fly a normal approach in strong winds like you're going to see today, consider using partial flaps. I'm landing in a 30-knot headwind on a 10,000-foot runway. I'd rather maintain control effectiveness and fly a slightly faster final approach speed without flaps. There's no reason to use full flaps and make a short field landing in this scenario. Now, I happen to know where the taxiway turnoff is. I'm shooting for taxiway golf. So I plan for my touchdown a little long, about 1,000 feet past the runway threshold, just so I don't have to spend too much time taxiing. Down on the runway, after rollout, I switch over to ground and get my taxi clearance quickly. You don't want to dilly-dally around in a 30-knot crosswind during taxi. Well, let's go to the airplane as we begin our descent into Palm Springs International. 5153 Golf, thanks for the runway 31. The power will assign your runway. We'll go, fighter golf. Man, I don't know. I was going to leave some power in because there's a 30-knot wind, but I'm not seeing any wind here. Let's see what the V-Calc says we're supposed to be at. Yeah, still good. 586 feet per minute. We're doing 600, so we're good. I'm still on approach, but I got tower on the other freak. Oh, here comes some wind. Oh, the profile of the mountains. Whoa. Fight for it, fight for it. 137. Actually, a tailwind. Just a 5152 Golf, contact Palm Springs Tower, 119.7. Going to Tower, fight you Golf, thanks. Flip, and then this monitor stays on, so we got to turn it off. Palm Springs Tower, Skyline 5153 Golf, descending through 3,500 feet, parking at the West T Hangars. Skyline uh, 5152 Golf, Palm Springs Tower. Make it straight in runway 31 left. Straight in for 31 left, 53 Golf. Skyline 53 Golf, the winds are 320 at 30. 320 at 30, runway 31 left, clear to land. All right, are you seeing that at both ends of the runway? Um, yes, pretty much so. It's uh, Right now it's uh, 31025 gusting at 30, so it's straight down the runway all the way. All right, thanks for that. Clear to land 31 left, 5 3 golf. Yes, sir. So I'm going to do partial flaps or no flaps. Let's try a no flap landing. I haven't done a no flap landing in this plane in years. Okay, we're fighting for center line. We're alive on the rudder, feet are off the brakes. Gas is on both. Undercarriage, we got three down and locked. Mixture's coming forward in case we need to go around. Props already forward. Towel flaps are open. Start cooling that turbocharger. There's 70 ground. All right, I'm still way fast. My indicated airspeed. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of wind. I see the wind sock. Ooh, it is kind of... Wow, holy sh**. Skyline 
Coming five three golf. Uh, turn left on golf. Contact ground one twenty one point nine. Left at golf at the ground. Fighter golf. Thanks. Palm Springs ground. Skyline five one five three golf. Clear three one left at golf for the West Tee hangers. Skyline five one five three golf. Palm Springs ground. Taxi to the hangers via golf. Golf to the hangers. Five three golf. Thanks. Fly it all the way to the hangar, Gary. Got a right crosswind with 30 knots. I can feel this thing skating across the taxiway. That's hilarious. Well, it's not hilarious. I've never had much that much side force on these wheels as this taxi. 30 knots, unbelievable. While you always want to make a decent landing, in strong winds or gusty conditions, don't worry so much about making a full stall, soft field type landing at the absolute slowest speed. When the headwind is more than half your landing speed, it becomes more about planting the airplane on the runway with authority, keeping it on the runway so it doesn't hop or skip, and preventing the wind from getting up under your wing as you roll out and turn off the runway. In a light sport or tailwheel airplane, you're going to find that taxiing the airplane and then getting out of it and either tying it down or putting it into a hangar, all without letting the wind get a hold of it, will probably be the diciest part of the flight. I've had a couple refueling stops in tailwheel airplanes at windy airports that really got my attention. Don't fear the wind, but learn to respect and understand its effect on your airplane, and the next time it kicks up at your airport, you can practice dialing in high wind operations. Fly safely and fly often, and I'll see you next time for another 5-minute Fly the Wing in-flight maneuver video.